The electrodes on your Musa headband act as a conductor to carry signals from your brain into the device. So because we're interested in electrical signals from the brain, and brain signals are very small compared to other physiological signals like heart or muscle signals, uh, that makes the interface between the electrodes and your skin really important. We need the material of the electrode to be conductive and biocompatible, and so silver and gold are really popular choices. We also want really good physical contact between the electrode and your skin, and so it's really useful if the electrode can flex and adapt to the shape of your head or the contours of your skin. The electrodes on all three Muse devices are functionally similar. Um, they're all metallic paint that's screen printed on some type of carrier. So for Muse 1 and Muse 2, that carrier is a flexible printed circuit that runs around the front of the device. And the difference for Muse S is that carrier is a flexible, stretchable polyurethane backing that then gets heat pressed onto fabric to form the Muse S. Because of the way the fabric and therefore the electrodes are able to conform to the skin, we often see users getting better signal quality and better contact with the Muse S. So Muse has fewer sensors than full cap EEG. So Muse is what's called sparse EEG because there are fewer electrodes and they're further apart. So in terms of the measurement electrodes, Muse has two electrodes on the front of your forehead and two behind the ears for four total channels of measurement. With fewer electrodes though, what we lose in specificity, we gain in simplified setup and an easier path to observing the workings of your brain. So a full cap EEG system, depending on the number of channels, requires about 30 or 45 minutes of setup and uh, it requires electrode gel to be put into your hair. So this electrode gel provides a conductive bridge between the electrode and your skin uh, to get through that hair on the top of your head. Muse is a dry EEG system, meaning we don't use gel to improve signal quality. So as a result, we stick to areas of the head where people tend to have less hair, so like the forehead and behind the ears, so we have direct skin access.